I told you last week that I had a request from my grandson that we go back to looking at pictures rather than my advertisements, as I think he thinks they are. So I, I decided we would go back to, um, we'd go back to our, one of our colleagues, one of our good friends, Mr. Rogers. Um, we purchased uh, this particular book for our church library uh, a year ago in the summer when we were making a special emphasis on who is in our neighborhood. And so this morning I want to share with you four poems from Mr. Rogers' book, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, that all talk something about being one even when we're different. And so our first poem is called Things Are Different. Things are different. You never know the story by the cover of the book. You can't tell what the dinner is like by simply looking at the cook. It's something everybody needs to know way down deep inside that things are often different than the way they look outside. When I put on a costume to play a fancy part, that costume changes just my looks. It doesn't change my heart. You cannot know what someone's thinking by the picture you just took because things are often different from the way that they look. So we know that sometimes we're different, and that is good. The second poem is called, It's You I Like. And you might even, if you've uh, watched or listened to Mr. Rogers, you might even be able to hear his voice as I share this with you. It's you I like, it's not the things you wear, it's not the way you do your hair, but it's you I like. The way you are right now, the way down deep inside you, not the things that hide you, not your toys, they're just beside you. But it's you I like, every part of you, your skin, your eyes, your feelings, whether old or new. I hope that you'll remember, even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like. It's you yourself. It's you. It's you I like. Whether... We look different or the same. It's you. And then a poem about needing each other. And it's called, I Need You. I need you so I can be your neighbor. I need you so I can be your friend. I, I need you so I can be who I am, who I am. I'm your friend. You need me so you can be my neighbor. You need me so you can be my friend. You need me so you can be who you are. Who you are. You're my friend. A bird needs air for its wings to fly. A boat needs water to float. A teacher needs students who want to know why. An election needs a vote. An aligning needs a coat. Just as I need you so I can be who I am, you need me so you can be yourself. We both need each other so we can be who we are. Who we are? We're friends. We both need each other so we can be each other's. We can be each other's friend. I like that last part. We both need each other so that we can be each other's. And finally, well, there, are, there are lots of wonderful poems in here. I end with, then your heart is full of love. When your heart has butterflies inside it, then your heart is full of love. When your heart feels like overflowing, then your heart is full of love. Love is fragile as your tears. Love is stronger than your fears. When your heart can sing another's gladness, then your heart is full of love. When your heart can cry another's sadness, then your heart is full of love. Love is fragile as your tears. Love is stronger than your fears. When your heart beats for a special someone, then your heart is full of love. When your heart has room for everybody, then your heart is full of love. And so we thank Mr. Rogers and uh, those who collaborated on him for reminding us that even when we're different, um, we need each other to be friends and to uh, become the people that God has called us to be. 
Ah, we give thanks for Mr. Rogers.